YouTube, how's it going? Frogs Angels is back with some more NFL content for the 2018 season. Pretty exciting one. Worst to first. We got the teams from each division that finished last, fourth place last year. That can would it, be last, yeah. Can any of them go to first place? Can they win their division? Maybe. Neither of us think they can do it. But we're here to talk about the teams that can potentially do it or the team that's most likely going to do it. So we got eight teams obviously and we're you know, we're going to discuss them before we get into that though uh, we got a subscriber goal it's 10,000 subscribers even though we want to move past that eventually but we want we want your help if you haven't clicked the subscribe button yet please do so to help us get to our goal if you already subscribed welcome back thanks for joining us but uh let's let's get on to it interest i like this video and we haven't even started yet i like it yeah i'm getting a little frisky over here frisky ooh yeah okay Obviously, there's one up here that's getting me a little... Getting getting you excited. Getting me a little excited. But, can I start us off here? Start. Are taking some off the board? Start us off. Uh, I think there's one clear-cut first team to come off the board here. I'm going to have to say it's the Indianapolis Colts. Ooh. Reason why. Reason I wouldn't why. take them off first, I but would. let me hear your reason. Let me hear my reason here. I think this whole Andrew Luck situation... It scares me. If I'm a Colts fan, it scares me. He still hasn't even thrown a legit football, and I'm concerned. If he's if he's in there, week one, healthy, 100% healthy, throw him back on the board. Nobody knows that. Nobody knows if he's going to be week one healthy. Like I said, the guy hasn't even thrown a football. Let me add something here, just so we're clear at, at you watching at home. Maybe you're not at home. I don't know. Um <laughs> This isn't. We're not ranking the teams. No, no. We're no, not no. ranking the teams. So this is kind of based off who they have to play, twice a year, all that kind of stuff. We're not ranking the teams. So, and I think another way you're looking at it is the the division. You got the Jaguars, you got the Titans, you got the Texans. They have to get past all those teams to finish first place. So after thinking about that, maybe I would take them out first. I. It's tough. It's very very tough. But I have. A team I think I would take off. Well, I know I would take off. Don't do it. Uh, before. And it's tough because the division's not good, but it's the Jets. Because they there's only one team they really have to get by. Because they can honestly be better than the Bills. And that, they could be better me? than the Dolphins. Are you kidding me? But they're not going to be better than the Patriots. They're, they're just not. I mean, it's okay, though, Jets fans. You're, you're in the rebuild process. I think you're, you're closer than you think, Jets fans. I, I, I like I like uh, where your defense is heading. Sam Darnold, I'm not a huge believer in him, but it's looking good for the future. Yeah, Teddy Two Gloves. Teddy Teddy Two Gloves can play. All right? He can play. I, I'm not disagreeing with you. He, he's only he only got one-year contract, though. What if Teddy just started and just... What if he has, like, a career year? Yeah. And they just win the division, and I'm just wrong right here, right now. He's going to have a career I year. I want that to happen. Hot I'm take. A, Hot take right here. All right, let's hear he it. He has a career year. And then he leaves and signs a big contract elsewhere. He signs with the Vikings and he starts signs over back Kirk with Cousins. The Vikings, <laughs> they trade Kirk Cousins. <laughs> no, I just think that I think he's going to earn some money. I, I think Teddy, Teddy's good, real good. If healthy, real good. So on a, he's going to, I think he's going to get a nice opportunity here in New York. I want to see it. Back to the Colts. Yeah. The reason maybe I wouldn't take him off first is. Kind of the opposite of what you said. It was the same thing, but the opposite. Andrew Luck. Andrew Luck could honestly be a top tier quarterback. We just don't know. But so if he plays out, I said if if he shows out, then they they could win the division. Yeah, maybe he's the best quarterback in the division. We've seen him back, easily back can a be. team, a bad team to the playoffs before. Yeah, so that's why I don't know if I'll take the Colts off first. But we got the Colts and the Jets off the board. Anybody you want to take off next? I have one, but it's strictly personal. Strictly personal. Strictly personal. Let's let's, let's hear it. I'm going to take the Bucks off the board. Bucks. <laughs> the Bucks. I I say this all the time and I'll say it again. Sorry Bucks fans, I don't think the Bucks are good. I have a different take. Okay, please go cuz I'm going to sound really bad here. The Bucks are the Bucks honestly could be the best team on this list here. They could be. I'm not saying they for sure are, but they're up they're up there in my opinion, talent-wise. But Look who's in their division. You got the Saints, you got the Falcons, you got the Panthers. They they are not winning that division. Yeah. I don't think. Not, no, no, not a chance. <laughs> it's tough. So that's why I'm, I'm agreeing with them coming off the board this early. But again, if we matched up rosters, they could be at the top in my opinion. But if they, it, it's very tough. If they win the division, I'm going to eat my underwear. You're going to eat your underwear? I'm going to eat it. Live on YouTube. Live on YouTube. First face reveal, I'll eat 
I'll eat my underwear for you guys. That's that's <laughs> interesting. All right. <laughs> We're going to have to have you sign something. No, you heard it here first. It's verbal. Verbal okay. commitment. Okay. All right. So imagine if they win, how many people are going to come back to this video? Come back. I'll have comment. a nice pair of compression. Just chop them down. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, next off the board is going to be... It's it's tough. It is very tough. It's between two teams I'm thinking of here. I, I think I know what you're thinking. I, I got to go with the Browns. I got to go with the Browns. I mean, it's going to be like impossible for them to pass the Steelers. They can pass the Bengals. They can even pass the Ravens. But they're but, in the land. But they got to pass the Steelers. But that's not even the number one reason. I don't like their coaching. I mean, bringing Todd Haley in I think could be a positive. But Hugh Jackson, eh. He's going to find a way to mess it up. I'm sorry. I hate saying it, but it's going to happen. Coaching has not been good. He's been saying he's been saying they put quarterbacks. He even admits it. They put quarterbacks in at the wrong time. They put the young ones in too early. He, he Does Haley, though, whip him into place? Maybe. Maybe he knows how to beat the Steelers. But uh, I, I, I think there's a team that's going to have a tougher task because he was in their division on here that I almost took off, but... I just I just can't be a believer in the Browns winning the division. They can get second, but even though I don't think they're going to get second, they could. I just yeah. don't think they can get first. Yeah. We're talking about going from worst to first, not yeah, from not worst to second. Screen? First. So who you got next? Um, this one hurts me. It yeah. really, with heavy hearts, I got to say I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. But I got, yep, you got it right. I got to take off the Bears. Your Bears. My Bears. That uh, was my other dis- choice for the Browns-Bears. Was... Mm-hmm. I think it goes back to kind of, not the coaching, but sim- the similar reason you talked about with a lot of these teams. Looking at the teams they need to beat, that's why Like I think the Bears could debatably be on this list. It's not biased at all, but I think they could honestly take one of the biggest jumps out of all these teams, minus a couple that, for obvious reasons, were last because of injuries. But I think that they have to verse your Vikings, your Packers, the Lions, who God only knows what we're going to get out of them. So I just think that their division is debatably one of the toughest divisions in football, if not the toughest division in football. And for that reason, I'm out. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I agree. It's. I mean, I think they can be a solid team, but are they really going to pass the Vikings and the Packers? That's. They could pass the Lions. But they honestly can finish fourth. They can finish last again, too. You just don't know. It's a tough division. So, yeah, I'd agree. Um, Next off this list is, I think it's pretty simple who's to take take off next. Even though I think, again, they could be the best team on here, possibly. Don't do it. Don't do it. I know you're doing it. They're in the Super Bowl champs division. Uh, So, I had to take off the Giants. They got a pretty good roster. I just, look who they got to go through. I mean, the Redskins and the Cowboys. Are, I mean, the Co- Cowboys could be a tough team, and the Redskins aren't a free win whatsoever. I think the Redskins are in the Cowboys. And then, okay. Uh, you didn't hear that. Eagles. You got to get by the Eagles. That That's the big That's the big one there. Yeah, but they got, we don't know, Wentz is a little ACL. We don't know how it's going to be. Yeah, but they have Nick Foles, a Super Bowl MVP. They're yeah. still, the Eagles would Come still on. win the division. Come on. Come on. It's going to be tough. Giants got a good team. I like adding Saquon Barkley. Odell Beckham's back. Um, it's going to be tough, though. So we got the Broncos and the Niners. Do you have a team picked out of these two? Um, I, I, I do. I do, too. It's it's tough. I, I Would you say these are the, the two teams that should be left? Yeah. Because I think they should. Yeah. It, maybe you could throw. I think you, you might be able to throw the Giants back up there. Yeah. Just because. Yeah, I'd give if them healthy, third. If healthy. Yeah, I think these two teams, I think looking at the Broncos, they got to get through the Chiefs, the Raiders, or the Chargers. And then looking at the Niners, it'd be the the Rams, the Seahawks, and the Cardinals. So it's both tough divisions. Yeah. It's tough. I think. All right. Let's hear it. The Broncos, they go out and sign Case Keenum. I don't think that Keenum is. I don't think he's the guy, but I think he can be. Uh, I think that he can make these Broncos take this jump. Uh, I think they got an easier division in terms of between these last two teams. Um, I like the additions they've made on defense. Uh, I think Keenum, if Keenum balls out, 
Give me the Broncos. Give you the Broncos. Give me the Broncos. Yeah, I, I uh, it's it's close, but I, I'm also going to go with the Broncos. I think getting by the Rams is going to be very tough. I mean, the Seahawks could honestly still be a playoff team, depending on Russell Wilson. It, it's looking like they're probably not a playoff team, but they do have Russell Wilson. And the Cardinals, and it's not a free win. The Broncos, looking at their division, I don't know how the Chiefs are going to be. You, you just They could be a playoff team again. They can be terrible, honestly. You don't know what you're going to get from Mahomes. I'm a Mahomes believer. I don't know if that defense is going to be – I don't think it's going to be good. Yeah, I think um, the defense of the Chiefs is the main reason. The Raiders, I think, could be similar to last year. They could be a little messy, a little messy out there. And the Chargers, you, you the Chargers got to be the favorites, I think, right now. Pretty balanced team, very good defense. Uh, Phillip Rivers still balling, but the Chargers are one of those teams that you just never know what you're really going to get. You can predict all you want, but you don't know what you're going to get. Who knows? They'll probably start the season off terrible like they always do. It's awful so to how, say. O- almost make the playoffs. So you don't know what you're gonna get. I thought the Broncos were gonna. They were like my wild card to sneak into the playoffs last year. Was I wrong on that? Jesus. Um, but I think that defense can still be top notch. They got better at quarterback. Whether what, whether you think the old Keenum's gonna show up, I still think they got better. Um, they drafted very well, very very well. So I don't think. They actually win the division, if I had to predict it. But I think out of this list, they have the best chance. And that's all this is? That's all this is. <laughs> but that'll do it for this one. Fourth to first, there's our there's our predictions. Let us know yours. Maybe rank the teams uh, in the comments based on uh, not, not their, their rosters, but based on their chances to go from worst to first. We're going to do a first to, uh, first to worst video. Oof. I don't know how that's going to work. Oof. I don't know if any of those teams actually will go for first to worst, but we're going to do it because it's interesting. we got plenty more NFL and NBA content on the channel, so go check it, all those out if you haven't already. Subscribe if you haven't done that already either because our subscriber goal is 10K. Please help us out. But that'll do it for this one. Goodbye. Bye.